Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Watercolour. So today I'm going to do a painting of this little sparrow for you. Um, just a little common brown sparrow. They live all around here in Melbourne. Um, we have them just yeah everywhere around our garden and our veranda and they live in town. They're everywhere. So they're gorgeous little things. So yes, yeah, so I'm just drawing his basic outline for you here. Just draw around where he's got his little mask and his little chest feathers. And I'm going to use my Schminky watercolours today. So I'm mixing up a grey with ultramarine and burnt umber for his face feathers. And I'll just take that around his whole head, go around his eyes. Do his beak, his chest. Anywhere he's going to have dark, I'll pop this dark grey. And now I'm going in with a bit of Indian red and I've added also a little bit of um, white gouache to that just to get, make it a little bit more opaque just for his back feathers. And now I'm going in with a very light wash of grey um, which is a burnt umber ultramarine just on his belly, just a very white wash of that, very thin wash of that. And now I'm going back in around his eye with a bit of Payne's grey and darken up just around his beak and his little mask area and then move it around with a damp brush to find his beak a little bit more now I'm going in with a little bit of transparent sienna around over the top of his back feathers and his head the back of his head there that warms him up just nicely And now I'm adding a little bit of cobalt blue just around under where he's in shadow on his white parts and his always light grey parts underneath. And now I'm going in with a little bit of burnt sienna. Oh, sorry, burnt umber, just around to deepen up those back feathers a bit and take that onto his chest as well. Just mark that a little bit. Put some variation into the feather colours. Just like that and now I go almost pure burnt umber just around those back feathers just to give the illusion of feathers and same for his tail so it's just pure burnt umber and while there's still a little bit on the brush I'll just run that round to the bottom of his tummy for feathers again add a tiny bit of um, of white there again just to put a bit of variation in and a bit of gouache just around his eye just to define that eye a bit more Now I'm doing the twig. Pop his little foot in. A bit more definition around his belly feathers. Now I'll do just around his mask. He's got vet quite black around his eye that's there and the edge of his beak. So I'll follow the line of his beak. Just do that. Pop his little dark bit on his chin. He's coming along just nicely. Now I'll pop a bit of Payne's Grey just for the darkest darks on the underside of his feathers. And now I'm just going to wet the paper all over 
and run a bit of a sky background so just a bit of cobalt blue and a bit of ultra blue mixed together just wet the paper first and then let the water let the watercolors do their thing so what they do best <laughs> they run around beautifully once you damp the paper so it's a bit of wet in wet and it creates a beautiful effect just a very soft sky background And I'll just darken up that back part just a little bit. Now I'll go in with a little bit of white again, white gouache, just onto that twig. And now I go in with a bit of a shadow area under him, but I'm not 100% happy with this. I'm not, I don't like how the twig looks now that I've put the, the shadow on. It's just way too dark and heavy, so I'm actually going to mop that out. I'll damp that, damp a bit of cloth and go back in and just lift all that up again. I'm not, yeah, then that way I can go back to scratch and start again with that twig because I've made it way too dark. But it shows you, you can, you can change things. If you're getting quick enough while the water's still damp, while the paint's still damp, you can, you can lift it up off the paper if you've got nice paper. And I'm using my Saunders Waterford um, watercolour paper today. So, yeah, it's really forgiving and you can lift off it really well. So now I can tidy that little twig up again. I'll just leave it quite light. I won't bother trying to put a shadow in. But I've made a little bit of a mess around it. So now I've got to tidy up by adding a bit more blue again. So I just wet the paper and run a bit more blue around. And it looks like I've never been in and fiddled. Except for there. <laughs> so I've got to lift that bit up again. And spread that little bit out there. Make it blend in. Here we go. as close to the feathers as I can and now I'll just lift that little tiny bit off pop a bit more blue in and she's all fixed anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I've really enjoyed painting this little bird for you so yeah click I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon and that way you'll see videos as they pop up from me um yeah have an awesome day guys and I'll see you next video okie dokie bye